When you go into sudden death, the loser will die. Oh, oh my gosh. The rules of bags are unchanged to this very day, and so we can expect to see some bloodshed. Unlike the regular game of cornhole, where you take turns on either side, the four members of your team will now take on four unique roles, sort of like penalty kicks, except for different, very different. In this final number, I just want to make sure that when you sing, you incorporate the phrase, holy hell. The first player, if they're gonna throw their bag out there and they are going to have to do it blindfolded. Now, the second player, they have a slightly more different task. They go back to the original origin of the game. They must toss their bag while completing an entire corn cob. The corn cob must be completely consumed by the time the bag hits the other side of the court. The third person, as you know, uh, has a very, very difficult task. They must do a catwalk. They must rock the runway rock the before runway. <laughs> they throw the cornhole and it must be stylish, it must be of the time, it must be of the moment. And of course, the fourth and final player must have an honest and vulnerable sweeping romantic gesture. Or All right, guys, huddle up. We never knew it could come to this, but it can always take its toll. It's time for us to decide in this sudden death who's going to do what role. I know I'll go in and say it. I'll say what you all would think. Yes, I will eat the corn cob because I have really sharp teeth. And I will throw blindfolded just to start it off clear. And I think when it comes to rocking a runway, there's just one person here. I know it is my time. I know that there is only this moment. It's time for me to rock that runway. I've got this garment. So Clark, <laughs> open your heart. Clark, Clark open, open your heart. heart. I pressed it down in my cornhole, pressed it so deep inside. But now there's something that's welling up the clock just can't hide. So now it's time for me to say it all to some of all my dreams. Tear open these bean bags and Clark's gonna spill his beans. Okay, so now we have the uh, the foreign country team, the away team is gonna be going first. So now we've got the blindfolded round. Now uh, we've got Blurgen oh, wow. Flurgen. Blurgen You're Flurgen. going to flurk my turn. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Here we go. Luckily we've oh. got a 10 second delay and they'll be able to, to <laughs> edit that out. I will get you, bro. And now from the Iowa team, Zack huh. Snyder, release the Snyder cut. <laughs> Both of them landed on the board, but did not sink the hole. We are did tied one point, hole. one point. And now we're going on to round two. That he were, of course, they need to eat the whole corn cob. The home team is at an advantage here. Other countries notably don't eat as much corn as the United States, but let's see how our foreign uh, person from our country does. <laughs> Oh, this is going to be easy. Oh, what this? Toss a bag and eat this corn? Fine, I'll just pretend I'm slurking a flurk. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh, a complete 100% insertion of the entire corn cob. No need for sharp teeth whatsoever. Once again, this is fine to air because it doesn't mean what you think it means. That's oh. right. Get your minds out to the gutter, rest of the world. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. And now we've got the Iowa team going next. Wow. Some incredibly sharp teeth from the Iowa contender. It looks like they have pulled ahead. That is on the board. The other contenders are not. The USA pulls ahead by one. By one. They are ahead by one. This is a very close race. We're going to see what happens in the runway portion. The runway round comes next. No, I, I, I love to see what Team Iowa can bring, but I do sort of fear that the international team might have the edge here. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, very good. Incredible Really poses. good. Oh, wow. She grabbed the bag. She pulled back. Here she goes. <laughs> and she let it fly. Oh, really, really good. That's excellent looks. And into the hole. They pull ahead by two points. I was going to have to do something big here. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow. incredible. Great runway walking here. We didn't expect. Oh, up oh, the wind up. 65 degrees, and she just overshot, unfortunately. That means coming into the last round, we have the USA trailing by two points. Let us see how Clark does. 
And let us see first the confession of love from our national athlete. He's gonna have to come up with something which might be a stretch for his icy disposition. And the line judge will know if it's inauthentic. My heart is the thing that beats within my breast. Okay. And always feels as though it is in a space too small for it. That it's being compressed by the world. There is only one person who sets it free. And this is why I have rigged the ceilings in the press booth to simulate the feeling that I feel each day as the world lowers above me. Oh, you are oh not just gosh. seeing things. Oh my God! It is for you and you alone that my heart beats. And this is why the ceiling presses down over you. That for is that is what so it feels like crazy. within me. It was real and I feel the pain that he feels. Oh wow! What a magical thing to tell. Holy hell, <laughs> holy hell. What a magical thing to tell. Holy hell, holy hell. Oh, whoa. That was emotionally Visceral. I am so torn. I root for Iowa, but I think I just found my late chapter romance. That is oh. on the board. So the USA is now trailing by three points. You don't want to know what happens if we get to sudden, sudden overtime. Oh, it looks like there's someone coming on to the field right now, hobbling in. It oh. looks like it is the captain of Team Kansas. That's right. That's Bryce. This one isn't for the game. This one's just for you, cycle. You, for you, Clark. I love you. I've been trying to tell you in so many ways. I felt I was so explicit. I basically told you. I know. But it couldn't ever reach you in just the right way. Don't tell me with words. Your love language is the bag. So let me tell you exactly how I feel about you, Bryce. It sailed through the air on a wing and a prayer, and it made an ark that no one ever seen. And it floated through the sky, past birds and clouds and sun, and it landed and it made three points in one. And the crowd got on their feet. And the cheers went so loud. And you never saw a better day in any Iowan town. And they lifted the two lovers. And they lifted them to the sky. And then they put them down real slowly. Cause he was still mending inside. And that was the day. That faithful day when history began in double, double overtime, everybody wins. Because it's just a game that you should play with a beer. It shouldn't be about winning or deathly fears. And Jennifer Bleed came down and she said, what did she say? Oh, me? Did you know I'm descended from Phineas Corn? Phineas Corn is in my family tree. And he wouldn't want any team to go on dying on account of bags that you can throw and flee. Where your 
from? You have to say where you're from. You must tell us where you're from. Please, it's just personally really bothering me. We will tell you, but it's a curse in your language, so it will be bleeped if you are watching this on air. Sure, we I will hear it. You will hear, but you, you will not hear. It. hear. No, it will be bleeped will hear it. when you hear, but you will hear. We are from Oh, good. Good. <laughs> good luck, everybody. Great. Great job, Clark. Great job, team. Every bag is a tear. But now I'll happily cry. I finally said my piece. And nobody had to die. If there's a cornhole in your heart, you can't fill it with a bag. You can only fill it with the truth. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. And you know, we can talk about winning. We can talk about how we won. But let's not talk about that. We'll We're not talk about that. that. We'll not, not talk about that. About Focus that. on the win. Focus on the will. Focus on the win. Focus on.